So today we're working on the Evinrude, this uh, 90 horsepower, 1983. Uh, discovered yesterday that there's no charge going to the battery, and we got 12.2 uh, on the scale. Uh, we should be getting around 14 volts, uh, which we're not. Um, the suspect part of these bolts is right here. This part is called a rectifier, and what it does is it converts um, AC voltage to DC, and then puts it back out to the regulator, I think, and then. Uh, charges the battery. Now I performed a quick test here and uh, see if we can get the camera set up. Mm. Now normally what's supposed to happen here is you get voltage in one direction um, the voltmeter set on diode for this test. We're getting one test reading there which shouldn't happen and we're getting one there and if we reverse the wire like we were told to do the diode is allowing power to go back through uh, diodes as you know if you don't know should allow power to go through one way so I've just revo reversed my lead to ground and I've got one wire that is constantly letting power through um, in both directions so we're suspecting that that part is bad and we're gonna change it out but not with the factory one um, we got a little smart today and bought ourselves a eight dollar rectifier uh, which we will use to go in place of this guy uh, so give me a few minutes and we'll fire up everything after it's hooked up so all we did was take Mr. Rectifier and take Mr. Old Rectifier that's now a paperweight and cut the ends off. Bought ourselves some crimps and we've hooked up our rectifier. We've got AC on one side which is yellow, AC on the other side which isn't marked, negative going to ground which is a black wire I grabbed out of the garage and red going to the plus. So we're going to hook this thing up. I think uh, by design they knew these would fail at some point. So we've got a smaller bolt here. We're hoping to get it in there. And we'll use that as a ground bolt. So we'll hook it up and see what we get. So there's Mr. Happy all hooked up. We got a nice rectifier installed. Install the wires back where they came off. Yellow wires don't matter which way is which. Red wires in. Ground's going up to the other bolt that we just took out. And she's bolted in here. She's nice and tight. So I'm going to try and give you an example of what a test would look like on a good meter. I don't know if you can see that. Turn her back on. Alright, so if you go to ground, with the black lead, Shit, hold on a second. I keep moving around here. I need a cameraman. So, we get infinity, infinity. So, we get no reading there. If we switch the leads around, this is where a diode comes into play. There's a reading of 495. And I should get that on the other wire as well. There you go. I was getting zeros on both sides with the one lead, so. There's a good rectifier. We'll fire it up and look at the voltage. So, we got a reading of 12.5. Now if I start this thing up, you'll see it'll raise. I'll have to test it out on the water, but that's a better sign than what happened before, which was 12.2 volts. But anytime I turn accessories on, it seems to want to charge more, so maybe what we'll do is turn a light on and 
turn the light on and throw the fish finder on and see what it does. So as you can see we're at 12.13 uh, volts. We're just kind of idling along here. We're going to pop the front up out of the water. Woohoo! I love driving this boat. There we go. We're on. So we're out here on the Mississippi and Carlton Place, and there isn't a soul on the water, as you can see. It's a beautiful night for fishing. Not a soul. So we're going to stick the rod in the water and see if we can get any fish. <laughs> 